channel my name is Maya and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my six month VSG update also happy vlogtober day number 14 it is six months exactly the day that I had my surgery I want to first start with my stats and then I'll go into some other points so I got my VSG surgery also known as gastric sleeve. I had my surgery on April 14th of this year. And like I let you guys know in the previous video, my near death experience, I did have life threatening complications the day of surgery, but I'm here. So praise the Lord for that. So I wanted to come on and just let you guys know how I've been doing since the month five update today. I started out at 301 pounds on April 1st, the day of surgery after my two week diet or the two week pre-op diet, I was 285 and today I am 214. So in total, I have lost 87 pounds since I started this journey. So I'm almost at 100 pounds and I'm almost under 200 pounds. Can I get a hallelujah? Amen. I am so excited guys because I haven't been under 200 pounds since what 2013 I think it has been a long time since I have been under 200 pounds it is absolutely insane that I'm so close I'm finally seeing like my body is really changing at this point I was in a wedding in September and I already look smaller than I did then I look at pictures then and I'm like wow I'm not even that size anymore like every single month I am getting smaller and smaller and feeling so good so that's what I want to start off with first we're going to talk about some physical changes that I've been seeing so I feel like month six is when you're really going to see the change in your body you're going to see your arms are getting smaller your stomach is non-existent because mine is disappearing <laughs> but you're going to really start to see those changes at month six and beyond I can't even imagine what I'm going to look like in two months as long as you are still continuing with eating healthy and you're moving your body the weight's going to come off because my arms are finally getting smaller but as i discussed in my last video i am starting to notice that i'm getting loose skin um on my arms i feel like they could be much smaller but the skin is just kind of starting to sag but i joined this program with a local gym here called rng and I've been kicking butt for the past two weeks. Um, I've gone, well now in total eight times to that gym and then I work out on my own too. And we lift a lot of weights. So I'm weightlifting. So hopefully it will catch my skin up to everything. Hopefully if it doesn't, then I don't know guys. Don't ask me if I'm gonna get plastic surgery on my arms because honestly guys, I don't know, but I'm strongly, leaning towards no. If I have loose skin on my arms, I have it and I might just have to live with it because I really don't want to go underneath the knife ever again. So yeah, that's that. Probably won't have plastics done. Um, thank God I don't have loose skin on my stomach, but I feel like I still have at least 40 more pounds to lose. So I guess we'll see once I hit that marker if I'll have loose skin on my stomach. But for, but for right now, there's no loose skin there, no loose skin on my legs. Um, it's literally just my arms. And my arms have always been like my problem area. So I figured I may, I might have trouble with them. But hey, I'm going to keep working out and I'm going to keep doing my part. And if they shrink up awesome if they don't i am healthy i'm more energetic i no longer have sleep apnea i no longer have high blood pressure like all of that outweighs loose skin like i y'all i feel good i feel healthy and that's all that really matters you know what i mean oh another physical change guys my foot has gotten so much smaller my feet were like swollen pretty much um they look like 
They looked like Hot Pockets whenever I was 300 pounds. They were so puffy and now like they're getting smaller. I can see veins in my foot. I was in a wedding last month. The bride had a certain shoe that she wanted us to wear and initially I could not fit that shoe. I had to buy another shoe. By the time the wedding happened, my foot was able to fit the shoe and I was just like, like what? I was able to wear a regular size shoe, a regular, because normally I wear a wide, which I still feel more comfortable in wides because I just have a wide foot, period. But, I mean, I was just surprised that I was able to fit that shoe. That is a non-scale victory that I'm so excited about. Um, foot got smaller, my arms are getting smaller, just kind of sagging a little bit. My stomach is, oh my gosh, guys, it's getting so little. Like, I look so much smaller up here. My bottoms, my bottom area is just, it's really just shrinking. More importantly, above the physical changes, guys, so much energy. I enjoy walking, I enjoy running. I enjoy lifting weights. I love going to the gym now. Like, it's it's a whole new me. Like, I feel like a rebirth has happened. And it's all glory to God because this wouldn't have happened without Him, without Him protecting me th during the surgery, protecting me throughout this time. Like, I am just feeling so good. And if you got VSG surgery recently, I just want you to be encouraged and know that you can do anything that you put your mind to and God will see you through it. So make sure you're putting in the work and the weight's gonna come off. I do wanna talk about stalls because a lot of people ask questions about stalls all the time. They're going to happen. Let your body do what it's going to do. It's going to happen. Sometimes it's inevitable. Your body's just trying to catch up to everything that's happened, you know? So if you're going through a stall right now, keep calm the weight is going to come off i promise you i stalled heavily in the 240s i stalled in the 240s and then all of a sudden 230s just flew on by stalled again in the 220s and now i'm kind of i got from 220 to 214 pretty quickly but now like i've been 214 like for the past two or three weeks but Honestly, guys, it's okay. I'm going to reach my goals. We can't get so hung up on the scale. We didn't get this surgery to just be tied and glued down to our scale. We got it to be healthy. So if you're feeling good, if you're making those healthy decisions, that's all that matters. The weight will come. The weight will come off. It, it's going to come, guys. So if you are in a stall right now, number one, I challenge you to step away from the scale. Put the scale away, put it far away, hide it, have your have your kids, your spouse, your whoever, hide that scale, throw it out, and then check back in another month or so. But if we're constantly getting on that scale, checking on our weight, and doing all that, that toxic behavior, I feel like, it's just going to lead you back into that cycle, okay? We want to get out of that diet culture and diet mentality and just... Have this be a lifestyle of eating healthy, moving our body. Do what's right by your body, treat it well, and the results will come. That's that's just how I feel. Okay, so I'm not going to be hung up on me being 214 for however long. I'm feeling good. That's all that matters. Now, whenever I'm under 200 pounds, whenever I'm at 199, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be very excited because I haven't been under 200 pounds in years what is that nine years Ooh. yeah it's it's been a long time coming guys but yeah that that's my little spill on that and i did want to discuss oh my rng workout program this local gym here it's like one of the best in the area they had this program that it was a, a newbie program and they chose three people and it's for six whole weeks and I am able to work out for four days at 6 30 during the week so Monday through Thursday I work out guys it's been incredible I feel like my body's already changing I'm doing squats every day because it's doing they're doing this squat tober thing so we do a hundred squats every single time 
my butt is on fire, my legs are on fire, but I get through it. Lots of lifting, lots of back action, so my back fat is like disappearing. But I am feeling so amazing from this. I'm loving lifting the weights. I just feel strong. I feel so good. My posture is getting better because like you have to focus on your posture and your form whenever you're doing weight. So now it's really translating into my day-to-day -day life because I'm trying to make sure my back is straight and everything. Loving this program. At the end of the six weeks, I know that my body is going to be transformed. I know it. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and I suggest if you, if you're someone like me, like, like I talked about in my first, my initial video of letting you guys know that I was doing this program, I let you guys know that I don't like working out with people. i rather work out by myself. So this was completely out of my comfort zone. But guys, when I tell you greatness is on the other side of fear, you have to punch fear in the face. Just like Sean Cannell says on Think Media, he says, punch fear in the face. Literally, guys, we have to do that. If you want to go to the next level, if you want to succeed, if you want to see results, you have to push fear out of the way, demolish it, and just do that thing that is so uncomfortable for you. That way you can grow and be successful. So, this is like a group workout program. So let's say there's 20 people. He'll split us up into groups and it'll be like four or five different groups. So you're in a group of like four, three to four people and you do a certain workout for seven minutes and then you switch stations. Y'all, I've met so many amazing people. Everyone is so nice there. Everyone's so kind. I love it so much. So in a nutshell, what I'm telling you if you struggle with working out, if you struggle with accountability, I strongly suggest that you find a workout program. Punch fear in the face. I don't care if you don't know anyone. I don't care. Just do it. Join a workout program and just do it. You'll meet people there, okay? And I'm an introvert. I am an introvert to a T. I'm an outgoing introvert, so I can sometimes shut it on, shut it off. But at the end of the day, I can sit in my bedroom all day and be good. But it's out of my comfort level, but y'all, it has been the best decision ever to join this because it keeps you accountable to working out. So if you aren't in a workout program, I challenge you to join one, um, get healthy, get moving, and just, just do it. Just like Nike says, just do it. Okay, what are you waiting on? Next, I'm gonna talk about vitamins and water and protein. All you guys know how important those things are and you also probably know how difficult it is to do all of those things. It's so hard. I'm still struggling to, well now that I'm in this, this workout program, I can get my 64 ounces of water because I'm constantly drinking water during the workout. But sometimes it's still a struggle. One day I can get my water but I'm lacking on my protein. One day I'll take all my vitamins but I'll forget to do all my water. It's like a never ending battle with me. It's like nothing can just be good all across the board. I challenge myself to do it every day but it's always that one thing. I may have taken all my vitamins but I'm slacking on my water that day. So I'm still trying to get better at that. And it is so, so, so crucial to meet those goals because I genuinely believe that by doing that, it really helps with your weight loss and just how you feel. So definitely make sure you're drinking your water, make sure you're, eat, you're eating, make sure you're taking your vitamins and make sure that you're getting your protein in because it's important for your body, okay? Um, in the healing process, make sure you're doing all of those things. Hair loss update, because I was losing lots of hair in the beginning. My hair is thickening back up. I've been taking biotin and sugar bear hair vitamins together and I have noticed my hair is thickening up. It's growing. I shed way less. Guys, during months two, month two, month three, and part of month four, I had two palmfuls of hair shedding every single wash day. So much hair coming out. But now, 
it's gone. So, and I can't say the same for you because we're all different people. Some people may not lose hair. Some people will. Some people will lose lose hair on month eight and it'll keep going. You just never know. It's going to be different for every single person, okay? Um, but for me, taking the Biotin and taking the Sugar Bear hair vitamins have really helped me. I take them every single day and my hair is coming back. Praise the Lord. So that was the hair loss update and I did want to share a few tips. So, one tip for me for getting in your protein. If you're having problems with getting your protein in, I suggest doing this. Get a Just Crack an Egg. It's like they sell it in Walmart, Target, any grocery store. They come in like, it's like this big. And it has like 19, 14 grams of protein. You literally just crack an egg in it and then you add the other condiments in it. So it'll have like bell peppers or sausage, stuff like that. You mix it in and the cheese and that's protein plus do a yogurt. Your yogurt, which is typically 16 grams of protein and then that, which is around 14, that's 30 grams of protein right in the morning. Or you can do a protein shake, which I try to wean myself off of the protein shakes early on because I don't like the way they taste. And, I mean, I'd rather feed my body with actual food. I definitely suggest the Just Crack an Egg with the yogurt. And with your yogurt, put in chia seeds. That has protein. Put in almond flakes. That has protein. So just load it up in the morning. That way you, you're like almost to your goal at that point. So then after that, you can do string cheese or um, stuff like that to just add more protein to your diet. That's a tip that really helped me in the morning, doing the protein and the Just Crack an Egg. Another tip, I already said it in the beginning, don't worry about the stalls. You're going to lose the weight. Try not to focus so much on the weight part. Focus on how you feel. Focus on how you look aesthetically. That's what you want to judge right there. How do you feel? Are you able to walk a mile now? Are you able to run a mile? Like, that's what we should be judging at this point. Tip number three, eat your fruit. Eat your vegetables. I see a lot of people on the board saying don't eat fruit. Don't listen to that. Eat your fruit. If anyone has a tip on drinking more water, or taking your vitamins, share your schedule, help other people in the comments, because I know there are people that still struggle with that. I still struggle with it. So if you do have a set plan, let someone know in the comments so I can help them. Um, and I think that is it. I can't think of anything else right now for tips. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. I love responding to all comments. Alright guys, that is it. Again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me through comments, through DMs on Instagram. Thank you so much for checking out my video. And stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I love you guys so much. Remember that God loves you and so do I. And that you're so beautiful the way that you are. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Bye guys. Love you.